So let's talk a bit about uh, how you play Genio, the video game. Uh, here we'll go through the animations and in the end I will uh, talk a bit about the technical aspects of the game development. So, well, first of all, here you may notice that we start with a logo, which is actually a drawing by Leonardo himself. And he did this uh, while working with Luca Pacioli, who's one of the main mathematicians of the Renaissance, who was first of systematically applying uh, mathematics to accounting and also author of uh, chess, interesting fellow, and he and Leonardo worked for quite a while together, so we thought it apt to homage these two guys working together in the logo, in Genio's logo. Now, first of all, in Genio, you, you have to pick a character. Actually, we, had, we chose 12 towns and 12 families from these towns of uh, middle 15th century Italy, and we chose uh, some interesting fellows. Uh, I mean, there were plenty in that period, of course. Now, uh, the point is that when you pick a character, he's from uh, one town and he's the, the, the leader of that town, but you must also keep in mind, this is represented in the game, the fact that every town uh, thought of itself as independent and uh, mostly not ruled by a single family. So, in fact, when you pick a, a, a character and his family or her family, you are also, you may... You, you will have uh, properties in uh, one town, the one you're leading, but you will also have, and you will also have the possibility of creating properties in other towns. So the situation was in a flux. So uh, after you picked uh, your main character, uh, you can start playing. And um, you will, as you, as you start with some, uh, with some properties, that in time generate uh, money that is in the form of uh, Fiorini, which comes from Florence, which was in fact uh, gold standard in Europe for two centuries. So the buildings that you already have at the beginning of the game will generate some income, and you can use the income to buy builder cards. Uh, so uh, you start with a deck, a limited deck of builders, which will grow during uh, your, your gameplay. And also you start with your own uh, book of ideas. So this is how we modeled uh, the explosion of ideas in different fields, which uh, characterizes the first Renaissance. So you can browse through the book of ideas. And once you bought a builder car with your Fiorini, it becomes available to you. So you can put the card on the folio on the invention which you chose and uh, once you filled the folio with all the builder cards that you intended to, uh, you, the, 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 the folio actually becomes active. This means that it has become an active blueprint for a construction that you can put in any of the 12 towns. The book of ideas actually during gameplay will, uh, as, more, as, as you build more and more things, will more, more folios will be added to it, so it should give you uh, an idea of how one idea uh, leads to the other and ideas not only architectural or engineering ideas are all represented by buildings in towns so this is uh, the way we we found to mediate the world of of uh, the history of ideas and the fact that you in a game you have to perceive it make it accessible mm -hmm. also the the set of the deck of builder cards will grow in time so uh, you, 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 will, you will get like a sculpture after a while if you did some, some constructions. And so if you're evolving your experience and your expertise in, in the game. Uh, now consider that while you are uh, playing and building and buying, uh, also the other 11 characters at the same time are doing the same thing. So they're two trying to expand uh, their power. Now, so once you have a blueprint ready, you have to uh, pick the town where you want to put it. So this is why we have the Armillary Sphere, which is one of the tools used and built, uh, one of the most splendid tools uh, built uh, in the Renaissance. And so you can pick one of the 12 towns and go there and send your team, uh, which will be a representation of the builder cards which you chose uh, and dragged on the Book of Ideas, 
and go and uh, you, you, you will uh, click on the um, door of the town of course here we are inspired by the by all the architectural ideas the idea of uh, the ideal city and planning of towns which were uh, first uh, detailed in the Renaissance and a town actually in Genoa will be built to keep things simple by hexagons and actually a spiral of hexagons so the towns will be flourishing and growing by in a plane but actually uh, if you analyze the game it, it's actually a monodimensional spiral which is growing now when you place your team in town th the team will actually parade this is another concept in general they will parade through the existing buildings and if the buildings are from their own family they will they will be reinforced if, instead if they go through buildings of other families they will suffer the consequences and so your team will try to go around the spiral as close to the central piazza the central square uh, which represents of course the, the power of the town um, as they will try to to go as close to the piazza as close as possible but uh, so depending on how much power you already have in town your team will be cheered and reinforced or and also depending on how many enemies you have in the town they will be jeered and they lose power so at a certain point they will stop and they will insert their own hexagon and build their own building so this in function of the number of of buildings that you have in the town this um, influences how much revenue that town is giving to you and so uh, allows you to to have more and more construction this happens to you and of course also to the other uh, 11 lords that are playing uh, as you at the same time now also this is so this is this represent the competition between towns and also the evolution of ideas and uh, and um, this this notion of building construction also can represent more abstract ideas which uh, in parallel were evolving at the time so it was not just art it's not just renaissance art and not just da vinci inventions it's also like conceptual breakthroughs is filled with that like in politics with machiavelli for example so for example the idea of political council so we we will represent that with a with a building that that somehow shows you the council and that is a, one of the steps in the evolution of the idea of a prince that has to do, have uh, politics in order to rule and so we'll present that in the game through several steps now a technical point so we we this game was conceived test and model in, in a browser javascript prototype and the animations that you see will are just are a, a blueprint for us for creating the definite game which will be uh, actually built in uh, unity and we already building parts of it and so the, this this graphic the graphic line you see will be the inspiration for creating the the final game